This video is recorded to help my students to understand how to declare and initialize variables and how to print out a variable value on screen. To declare a variable, there are four rules to follow. First, the variable cannot be a keyword. Second, the first character cannot be a digit. For example, 7up is not legal. Uh, a is not a legal variable name. Uh, however, if you use underscore seven up, then it's okay because it starts start with a digit. Another rule is the variable name should be meaningful. So if you just say x, x is not a good variable name for student score. So if you want it to be meaningful, you might want to name this variable that represent the student score. That variable name just call score or student score. If a variable name consists of several English words, then you should separate them by underscore or make the first letter of each word uppercase except the first word. For example, uh, car speed, you, you say you have two English words in it, car and speed, you connect them with underscore. Or you say car speed, for the second English word, his first letter, you make it a capital. Those are all good variable names for a variable that represents the car's speed. Okay, So let us say, how to declare vari uh, variables and initialize them. So if I want to declare a variable, for example, I want to declare initialize two integer variable to zero. The variable are named feet and inch. So since the integer variable are declared as integer feet equals zero and inches equals zero. That is you declare and initialize now you also can the alternative way to do this is this. You can say let me commence this away. You can also do it declare first, then initialize it. You can declare energy fit inches. Then you will say fit equals zero and inches equals zero. This is do the assignment. You declare first, then do assignment. Now Notice, when you do the assignment, you don't need to write an integer in front of feet anymore. You already declare this variable feet and the inches, the integer type of variable, then you initialize it. Now, here, declare and initialize two variables, one integer, one double. Both should be initialized to appropriate form of five. So I can say integer uh, x equal five and double y equal 5.0 okay so this is initialize and uh, uh, the declare and the initialize since he did not tell you what is this variable for just say these two numbers so you can use x y that's no problem okay now give a good variable name for identifies uh, to store the speed of an automobile so since uh, auto, uh, the speed can be a uh, double like a Speed is 75.2 miles per hour, right? So you can use double speed, okay? That's a good name, right? But I did not initialize it. Uh, if you did not initialize it, you cannot use it yet, right? So hourly pay rate, so you can say double hourly pay. Right. Now, our pay rate, we also can call it a wage if you wish to, right? Then the highest to score on exam, that's integer highest score. You can use this. Now, pay attention, those variables, you if you did not initialize them, you cannot use them. You must initialize it, okay? So, how to initialize variable? You can initialize variable from the keyboard and uh, uh, but if you want a people initialize variable, you must give people a hint. In order to give a hint, you need to print out some message. For example, I want uh, people initialize the speed. I can say C C out into car speed. Okay. Now, then you use C in speed. Now this will. Uh, this C in is built in input stream and use this operator. Okay, this operator is a binary operator, has two operands. One is input stream C in 
another is the variable name speed. So this will input the value of speed from the keyboard. Okay. Now this will wait for user's input. After that, we can print out C out. You just entered. Then if I print out the speed, then he will tell you just input the speed. So I will also uh, for here, if you type a variable name here, then it will uh, print out this variable's value. Notice uh, the variable name is locked inside the double quotation marks. If you put it inside the double quotation marks, it will print out as an English word speed. For example, you just enter the speed, so much speed, okay? Now, this speed will be printed out as English word speed, and this one is a variable name will print out his corresponding value. Now you notice, when you use C out, you can use this output operator, uh, one after another, what happened? This is because this operator take two input, uh, it's a binary operator take two input. One on his left side is the output stream, and on the right side is the uh, string or energy value, whatever you want to print out. So after he print out this string, then he will return you, uh, uh, return you an object which is the first opponent, which is the cellout. That means this portion, after print out, you just enter the speed, then he will return you another cellout. So another cellout will be replaced here, combined with this operator and the speed, will print out the speed again. Then it will, after that, will return you another cellout. Another cellout will, uh, together with this uh, operator and end line, which will print out a new line, okay? So if I try to uh, run this program, I first uh, compile first, you might have some warning message. Now, because for example, highest score is unreferenced local variable because you never use it. And uh, our pay rate is unreferenced local variable. You never use it. We, if you see the warning message, you try to fix it to make this warning message gone. But warning message normally will not affect your program run. So to fix this warning message, is very simple. I initialize my speed it is 70 miles per hour, right? I initialize my hour pay rate. Let us get a good pay, $1,000. Per hour, right? So now, if you compile again, you will not have warning message anymore. Oh, has the score as still not initialized. I'm sorry. So let's see. Student got got hundred point. Then I compile it. Now you see you can pass successfully without any warning message. Okay. Now if you run it, he will ask you you want to build it first. Yes, I want to build it. So you remember you compile, build, right? Then run. So you compile, make it a, have a OBJ file from source code. Okay. Then uh, you build it with a link from OBJ file to become exe file. Then you will be able to run. If I enter speed, for example, I say seventy five. Then you just enter the 75. Now you notice, hey, here is, first of all, the screen not hold. We already know. We can add a system, pause to hold the screen. Also, you notice I did not have return zero here. This is because C++ will automatically do that for you, since this is a main function, is a special function. So, but the good habit is you always put a return zero here, okay? So now, if I run the program again, it will say, into car speed, so into 75, 
That is, uh, you just uh, enter the speed 75. Okay? So, in this video, we explain the rules to declare variable. Then we declared and initialize several variables. Then we give an example how to uh, initialize variable from the keyboard and how to print out the variable's name on the screen. If you have any questions, please give me an email.